The University Hospital Freiburg is one of Germany's biggest hospital complexes. 64,000 inpatients, 3,000 nursing staff, and 1,500 doctors ensure plenty of traffic. In addition, the food for more than two million meals has to be purchased, prepared, and served to the patients. Hallways and patient rooms have to be cleaned, and all hospital buildings have to be provided with electricity and heat. Organizing all these material and energy streams as efficiently as possible is a truly holistic task. The core of the hospital's energy supply is its own heating plant. The combined gas and steam power plant, or COGAS for short, produces both electricity and heat. Along with natural gas, sustainable raw materials such as wood pellets are burned as fuel. We also supply neighboring properties with energy that requires the capacity of a medium-sized municipal plant that powers around 30,000 households. The power plant's co-gas technology is highly efficient. More than 80% of the fossil fuel energy is turned into electricity and usable heat. An underground system of pipes measuring several kilometers in length transports the thermal energy in the form of steam to the individual hospital buildings. There it's used to sterilize and humidify the air conditioning system. In addition, the steam brings the hospital's heating system and sanitary water to the desired temperature. But the power plant's hot steam is also used to produce cold air. A physical chemical treatment turns the hot steam into cold air in eight so-called absorption refrigerators. Parallel to the steam ring, the cold air from these special units is transported underground to the individual buildings in a so-called cold water ring. The advantage of this power grid is that the entire hospital's energy needs for heating and cooling can be efficiently produced by the co-gas power plant. Only at certain points does this system still need the additional support of solar thermal installations. The roof of this laboratory building is covered with 170 square meters of vacuum tube collectors. Heat from the vacuum tubes can bring water to nearly 100 degrees Celsius. In the winter sunshine, this thermal energy is used to pre-warm the air conditioning system, conserving energy for heating. In addition, the solar heat can actually produce cold air. This takes place with the help of an absorption refrigerator. In the lower chamber of the unit, water is vaporized at 10 millibar vacuum. A heat exchanger is used to extract heat from the surrounding environment, cooling the water to less than 6 degrees Celsius. The cooled water is used for air conditioning in the summer. In the next chamber, the steam is absorbed by the desiccant silica gel. Warm water from the solar collectors flows through these granules over a heat exchanger. The steam is driven out and expanded. The pressure rises. The steam then flows into a further chamber, where it's cooled at ambient temperatures over a heat exchanger and turned back into liquid. The collected water returns to the lower chamber through a restrictive valve. 
Here it is again vaporized in a vacuum and the cycle begins anew. Absorption and adsorption machines use two different technical procedures for producing cold air from heat. Absorption generally uses the waste heat of power plants, while adsorption normally derives its energy from the sun. Both methods save energy compared to conventional air conditioning. But it's not only the energy streams that are managed with great efficiency in Freiburg. This lettuce grows on the edge of the Black Forest, just a few kilometers from the city. Picked in the morning, it's already served to hospital staff for lunch or brought to the patients in bed for dinner. A buyer monitors the quality of the farmer's produce. Whether it's potatoes, asparagus or beef, 60% of all food served at the University Hospital Freiburg comes from the local region. The produce is not marketed by a wholesaler who offers the lowest daily price over the internet. The buyers work directly with the local bakers, butchers and vegetable farmers. The advantages are higher quality and a reduction of traffic on the roads. The produce is not driven from a farmer in Brandenburg to a wholesaler in Hamburg and then on to Freiburg. And that substantially reduces CO2 emissions. The disadvantage is that the kitchen can't always buy at the lowest prices. The cost of this produce is 15 to 20 percent higher. The model developed here can be transferred to other regions as well. It's a matter of philosophy and price. Are you willing to pay more money to buy locally and strengthen the local economy? Or do you want to buy as cheaply as possible from the wholesalers? Our philosophy here in Freiburg is to buy locally. We stand for sustainability, and that is Freiburg. Sustainability even goes for cleaning the floors here in Freiburg. The University Hospital employs more than 600 full-time cleaning staff. They receive regular training to ensure the immaculate cleanliness of patient rooms, bathrooms and hallways. Hygiene is the number one rule. But when it comes to cleaning floors, less is more. Most of the flooring is cleaned without water, as opposed to using a damp mop. Scientists at the Institute for Environmental Health Services and Hospital Infection Control tested this method in a study. Dry cleaning versus wet cleaning is an old topic in hospital hygiene. We wanted to examine the different germ loads on the surfaces and we found that both methods are safe if they're done properly. You can clean well both ways and you can achieve safe hygienic results. Dry cleaning saves the hospital more than one and a half thousand liters of cleaning fluid and 700,000 liters of water each year. Wet cleaning only takes place in those areas already exposed to moisture, such as sanitary areas or places that are heavily soiled. The dry wiping cloths are then washed in the hospital's own laundry facility and used again, saving even more material. And then there's the traffic. Every day, more than 1,000 employees come and go, making up the traffic of a small city. Mathilde Burkhoff takes part in a short training session offered by the Works Council, aimed at encouraging more people to use bicycles. 
The Works Council provides electric bikes for test rides. If the employees like this way of getting around, they can lease a bike from the hospital for a good price. The Freiburg Clinic is using a variety of measures to motivate employees to leave their cars at home. They get a bonus for using public transportation, for example, while having to pay for a parking spot. For Matilda Burgraf, there's some uphill riding on her more than 14-kilometer bike ride home. That's real work on a normal bicycle, but more like an afternoon pleasure ride on an e-bike. Super toll, herrlich entspannt. That was super, totally relaxing and a joy to ride. With no commuter traffic, I could really take it easy. You don't have to concentrate on the traffic. It was incredible. Are you ready to lease one? I sure am. Incentives to use public transportation and bicycles. Efficient energy supplies provided in part by renewable energy. The use of mainly local produce for food preparation and a reduction in water usage and cleaning agents. The University Hospital Freiburg is practicing a holistic approach to conserving resources that could set an example for other institutions as well.